Hi, this is Danielle Zana. I'm actually um, doing a blog update on recent events, and um, this might be a pretty long blog. Um, and a pretty serious one as well. Um, recent updates. First off, I have officially um, closed all my Facebook accounts. It's got to the point that uh, enough is enough. And if I stick on, they would eventually, um, there, there's a possibility that they would eventually remove me um, off from Facebook. Which would be more of a traumatic experience than actually move, uh, removing myself on my own free will. Um, first off, I had been unblocked, been blocked for 30 days, and this has been going on for this entire year, um, where, um, up where, where my art, I share my art, art gets removed, and then there's punishment um, for, for sharing my art. I get um, blocked for 30 days. Um, normally, I used to, there used to be like two, three days difference um, in, in my um, two, three days difference. Uh, where I would be blo uh, blocked and then unblocked and then they block me again. This recent occasion, um, obviously, they were waiting on the edge of their seats to, for for me, and they blocked me within less than six hours. Um, and I thought, you know. It's gone preposterous, and even the artwork that I had recently uploaded was my painting, um, Love is the Key, which focuses on love being the essence of Satan and planet, which was completely ignored, misunderstood, and assumed. We didn't even see the message in the artwork, and they actually um, blocked me. Not, uh, had um, removed that artwork, and then there's another artwork which is sort of like my artistic expression in protesting against um, the regime um, of the religious political elites on how um, the outlook on sensuality is and all that, and um, which has these two. Um, Woman, once a hermaphrodite myself, um, and then the, and they were our intimates protesting actually in the form of love and intimacy with all these police around them, and uh, the police went into get hold of them, but fortunately, they got um, they were in the process of getting rescued uh, by extraterrestrials. So that that was my um, my recent um, artwork, uh, which was digitally painted uh, in Manga Studio. Um, my next work uh, is going to be really focused on lush artists um, in the jam with uh, Tesla coils and things like that. So that should be pretty interesting. I haven't thought exactly what to do exactly, but. Um, I'm trying to think on what to do, and it's been very difficult to think. And also with this Facebook um, story, um, I have courses that I needed to do on Coursera, which is an online free university. With all the stuff that I've experienced of late within these last three months, um, I can't complete the courses. One was um, music programming. Um, I kind of like started off, but um, it's doing all this drama, especially from the, the energy companies. 
Um, what I'm experiencing with the energy companies is when I had moved um, from my old uh, flat to my new flat, I had phoned up uh, Eon. You know, um, I had been pro Eon because they they wanting to work on uh, renewables. It's one of the reasons why I like it. Um, but the staff are very antagonising. Um, um, when I moved, I updated the info. Everything had been moved, uh, updated with a new address, and apparently um, I had overpaid my bill. And I thought, you know, at least this, the money that I had overpaid would, you know, um, you know, deduct the new values and whatever. Um, I had in power, which I've never signed up for. They demanded money for gas. They have sent threatening threat letters. That they wanted to send a police warrant and all that. Um, and um, I had phoned them up and said, I am not with you because they were dressing you the occupier and all that. And they were wanting me to pay the previous um, um, inhabitants' um, bill. And um, pre previous residents, actually. I don't, it's, I don't even like using the word occupier. It's more of a, a, a resident is more of a, a, a better term. Um, because I find it pretty offensive, especially what I've been through of late. Um, they sent the letters, um, I phone them up and say, I'm not with you people, I'm with Eon, please leave me alone. And that's it. And every time they get a letter, it just gets sent straight into the trader because they don't listen to me. Now the funny thing is, since I found it really strange, since I phoned up Empower, um, all of a sudden my Eon um, energy uh, things had been um, what do you call it um, changed. Where my name and all that had been, where all my details suddenly disappeared, and they started addressing me as the occupier. I phoned up and said, "What's happened?" Um, I even found I found that even when I'm logging into the website, it's not providing the correct information and all that. So I phoned them up to try and fix it. Uh, the fourth time, it's been four times. I give them the information, and the information goes missing. Um, and then they themselves are now starting to see the threat letters. And I've been, I've, I'm starting to develop a conspiracy about this. Um, so, what's actually, um, um, so what I am um, doing is now is I am trying to, um, I, I contact with my CPA and all that because I can't be dealing with all this um, because when I try and communicate with them they react to the point where they see me as some sort of cash cow instead of a, an individual or a person or a human being or whatever um, they um, I just get terrible anxiety that it drives me to the point where I inflict self-harm. So of recent I've just been, uh, I phoned them up and I said that a lot of full time, uh, updated them, gave them my updates and all that, they said they'll save a card and um, then they were dressed to me with the letters to me, my name and all that. Um, apparently, they didn't set the letters as the occupier. They even addressed me on on the card as the occupier, and I just basically shoved it into the shredder because I I, I couldn't cope. Um, <clears throat> so uh, 
there, there's been a bit of a problem as well, uh, which has been affecting me where I couldn't do the courses. Um, and then as well, medically, I've been having a problem where I um, have lost my hearing in my left ear, but um, and um, I'm, w I'm wanting to get a hearing aid, but it's this whole lengthy process just to get a hearing aid. Um, where um, um, they said eventually to the point where I had to have an MRI scan. But when I went in for the MRI scan, as I said in, in my previous vlog, that um, the whole thing, the scanner, actually electrocuted me. And, um, and since I had the scan, I've been like, getting um, headaches. Um, I'm still getting them. Um, they actually fluctuate in the intensity whenever I have them. Sometimes they're a mild headache. Sometimes they're extreme headaches where I can't do anything. And all I just want to do is just lie in bed. Um, actually, what I've also experienced is uh, on my way home, when I've been thinking about contemplating about closing my, well, I have closed my Facebook. Uh, before I, uh, when I came, I was on coming back from the studio. Um, I, I, I closed it there, and um, I um, was walking back, and I was, you know, thinking about this, and um, so I was thinking about this, and an intense thought, and I started to get. A migraine, and um, the migraine started to get so intense that, uh, and I was, I was standing in the street light, and the street light bulb um, exploded, um, and I thought, well, um, it's pretty intense that coincidence, or what? I don't know, but um, I have experienced that a lot when I was in my childhood where uh, my parents used to punish me and give me abuse like that where um, uh, the, the either self-harm or I go introvert and prevent myself from doing self-harm and when that happens I tend to um, destroy um, electrical devices Around me, or they or electrical devices just tend to blow up and things like that. Um, I know it's, it's it's something that I don't even quite understand myself, but it happens. Um, so, um, so on is what I was doing. Is, um, I also found even with the art, going back to the the artwork. Um, this picture, um, you know, uh, you think, you know, Facebook would look at this picture and see that I am protesting. Why I'm protesting? Apparently, not. Uh, they're, they're a bunch of zombies. You can't even communicate with them. Um, you can't at all. And that's also one of the reasons why I left because to, to them, you are a cash cow. And um, this is what I know. What 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 is true? Now, if they're earning money out of my mere existence, um, I feel that then imposing um, this totalitarian aspect against me, my star culture, and my artwork, um, I think. And they and they're getting money out of it. With money, um, where the thing is, where they could be putting, you know, food and plate or helping me financially, that amount of money um, that they're making from me, um, really, they're actually exploiting me. And you know, to be fair, they they shouldn't be um, be because I do not fit with their corporate culture, my cosmic culture doesn't 
much of the corporate culture, um, even though they are exploiting me, they feel that they can do what they please. So I basically, it's one of the reasons why I've just got um, shut down and you got they 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 just ignore you. So what's the point in trying to talk with them if they're not going to um um listen or come to some sort of agreement? And talking about agreements, um, this planet is very you know. Um, already with the um, the nuclear agreements that is actually falling through today, which is gonna shift the doomsday, which is a contributing factor to shifting the doomsday clock forward. Um, but um, so there's there's quite a few things censorship. Um, also about the the artwork, um, I also found it was pretty ironic that this when the, this artwork had to be completed um, on the time on the 11th of the 11th, 2013, that um, this um, that the UK is now on the verge of becoming a police state dictatorship country. And in Yorkshire, the, um, the the police state objectives are executed into action, um, uh, and also I've noticed as well I'm actually being stalked by the police in Sunderland. Um, they actually followed me from with their van from um, town um, to my flat and I've been like you know stopping here and there and I've been watching them and I really don't get it to be honest what are they afraid of me uh -uh. they're afraid of me or something I don't know well, most of it, they, they, I think they're just wanting to find out if I do something, anything, that they would lynch me. Anything. It was also probably because I had put the video of the me burning poppies uh, in protest against um, warmongering. Because uh, Armist Armistice Day is nothing but carnival celebrating war and I have been thrown in the suggestion that the uh, 11th of the 11th is a day of um, striving for extraterrestrial contact um, it's a very good day you know it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a day you know, and I think they have done this on purpose to put people's mind on death and war the people they've lost in their lives through war and the peop and the fears of who's going to die next in wars um, you know they say oh yeah, that, that, because I don't people say they, I don't respect the dead the thing is, they're dead. They're gone. Um, having a remembrance day is not going to bring them back to life. The only thing is, is to prevent further war, further death. That's the only thing. And Armistice Day only glorifies um, the um, the thing of uh, the situation glorifies war in general uh, as if there weren't more people to die uh, as if it, war is a necessity for freedom um, and things like that where many disputes can be solved 
without more. And I, I, I and the very thing, the thing is, the reason why disputes aren't getting settled is because of the money dispute. Like recently with the nuclear talks, um, they they were trying to solve a dispute uh, and come to an agreement, and obviously they didn't because there were conditions and things like that. And, um, and it's all about monetary values and things like that. That's why money is a disease to this planet. And, uh, and what the people don't realize is with the armistice day is that um, the soldiers, the civilians on opposing or on, on, on the side that you that you are on, um, they all were killed, they were all exploited or in the whims and wants of the religio-political elite, the ruling parties. Well, they basically sit on their asses in a conference room, flapping their jaws, while soldiers and that people are forced to go to war, kill people and things like that. Um, people don't see that. Um, I try and explain that. Um, they don't say they say I'm wrong and all that. Um, they don't see. They say fighting for free now. Okay. Um, as you know, UK going into sort of a dictatorship or, or a police state. Now, even before, does the current time is well o'clock a.m. Does everyone? Is everyone free? This is one first question. Is everyone free? Um, the answer is yes and no. And then also when we go to different countries, um, I think people who've traveled or been from one country, lived in one country and lived in another one, they, they tend to see the same. Um, that in every country, you have your pros and your cons. Grass is never green on the other side, unless you live um, you can go and live on another planet. Um, the grass is not green on the other side, and countries are are, are human forms, uh, or even like laboratories. Um, you are just manipulate people, experiment on people, and so on and so forth. Um, a country has its own freedoms and then its own restrictions. Um, people say that UK is supposed to be with free country. It isn't. Even before the um, before the dictator David Cameron came out, in the it wasn't completely free. And also, um, what I'm saying as well, the only rights. Like with the same thing with democracy. The problem with democracy is the the only right that the people have is the right to vote. You think you say that's a good thing? Yes, it's a good thing, but it's not a completely a good thing because uh, people um, they have the right to vote, so they they, they vote these puppets. They go and then the puppets then debate about. Uh, and share ideas and things about policy and whatever. Um, but as a, as an individual, no one has a say in what goes around in Parliament. So you only allowed, you only have the right to choose what puppet or what ru um, ruling elite or or politician. Or MP, or whatever, you can only vote, but you yourself can't go into Parliament, sit down and share your viewpoints, or even debate and discuss things that you agree or disagree with. And that's where democracy is failing. I know some people, and also another thing is because of the money disease. Um, most people are uneducated, they can't 
and they often find it very hard to express themselves. And this is done on purpose um, to keep people quiet. Um, is that when people see something wrong, they tend to express themselves in something that is deemed antisocial. Um, instead of like like for instead of using proper English or things like that. Um, that's their way of controlling. Um, so it, it's very, very. I don't know. It's mind. It's mind blowing. So um, so when you voice your opinion, you've got to say your opinion in a certain like in a certain syntax. Like you know when you're programming. Programming syntax um, in Parliament, Queens, and whatever are discussed in a certain syntax. Um, that's the thing, and, and if you have, um, if you do it in the wrong syntax, um, it, it won't run, your idea won't run, it'll say, oh, illegal operations happen, and you get to go. So that's the problem with. Um, you know, democracy. And I am in for capitalism in geniocracy. Geniocracy is very much misunderstood. Um, often because of the anti railings and things like that. It misinterpreted the text. What it is, is people with um, high um, intellect, um, intelligence, and consciousness. Get involved in all that, and they, you know, discuss the ideas and all that. Um, very much like, you know, councils on other planets or like that. And everyone on the pla on another planet has the right to get involved, to voice opinion, to agree or disagree on a particular. Um, thing, not a figurehead, and, and this is why, why where this plant is painstakingly frustrating, um, and also as well, to care, you learn that not many people know the ins and outs of, of becoming an MP, to become an MP, you join a membership with a bloody proprietor. But when you join this, uh, when you join, have a membership with a political party, you have to pay a monthly fee. You can see, it's all infected by the money disease from the part you get invited to um, join up with a political party. Um, once you get in, you pay a monthly fee. In just a matter of time, you become an MP. Everything, everything is manipulated and controlled with the use of money. And um, I know this from experience, which is why I, um, you know, I'm not really getting involved with politics because everything is just money, 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 money. And knowing that money is actually just destroying the planet and things like that, and that's why I support paradism, um, which is which is like what life is like on other planets. They call it all different kinds of things on the other planet, but on this planet, it's the name that describes it on this planet. Uh, paradism work <coughs> no. Um, Living without work and money, you know, kind of thing. There are things, you know, it's like a technocratic, not technocratic, uh, something with advanced technology and consciousness, levels of, you know, spirituality, awareness, empathy, love, compassion, understanding, and all that. Um, so it's got all these things. Um, so, um, now, as you know, I basically left Facebook 
I've just got fed up with this. It's actually really totally useless, Facebook. It's completely useless for me if, uh, if it's all, most time, like every, almost every month, 30 days, it's a month is 30 days, so basically, not, not even an entire day of being unblocked. Um, and the other thing is also quite disturbing is, as you know, I've got a friend in Durham. She's intersex like me, and I've kind of looked after her house and her cat. Uh, but, you know, it feels, because of this Facebook block, it feels like um, it was like yesterday, um, kind of, because I had been separated so long from my friends and family from the Facebook block. Um, I feel like I've kind of like remained in a time prison. Um, it's it's awful, and not many people really understand how mentally draining this whole thing, uh, how this, this sort of thing is. It's 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 like worse than being punished at school. It's exactly how. How I lived like with my parents, how they when they punished me with certain things, with my gender, my art, and all that. It's you know I actually left South Africa to get away from that, and then moved here to the UK, and then 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 have these corporations now trying to take over the role of the. The, the, addi the addition to where I had been, you know, to add on to my post traumatic stress. That's why, um, because I, I suffer from post traumatic stress disorder, from what I experienced in the past, I can't cope um, with these sort of totalitarian corporate um, bullying and um, discrimination and abuse. Reflected onto me, right? Like, for example, the energy can be when I when I've told them I try to make agreements, they don't listen. The, the the information gets lost again on purpose, deliberately, and I just feed it to the shredder. Um, it just got to the point. That's why I feel like with Facebook. That's why I've just removed myself completely from it. So, yeah, and um, quite recently I've done a video, and all these factors are contributing to pushing the Doomsday Clock forward. Um, it, it, it's actually, I'm actually being contemplating, I know for definite it's going to move a minute closer to midnight, and then there's a possibility that it might move two minutes closer to midnight. Or even three um, in relation to the um, the nuclear deal or talks um, or agreement. It's all it's all about money. Money. It's, it's I don't know. Um, people in this planet, to be honest, um, the chances of humanity. Reaching the point of elohimization, which is where people, where people can explore space and create life on other planets, and survive this um, thing is, I don't know, basically almost impossible. Um, the extraterrestrials want to help, but people are afraid of them. Um, the extraterrestrials because of all this thing they want to fake alien invasion. I don't know, this planet is completely fucked up. And I just want to leave it. Um, earlier this year, I went to Rain Ocean Forest and um, I was wanting to leave Earth. I got picked up and was taken to space. I can't remember everything that happened. But I, 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 you know, I was brought back down to earth again. Um, I don't know what the reason is why I'm back to earth and all that. 
but um, honestly, um, it just I just found life getting more and more of a nightmare to live in, and your 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 things that when you use um, you can't if your your outlets are getting restricted and all that your little freedoms or your little havens of retreat is getting restricted um, and um honestly as I've mentioned before I've had this um, dream where David Cameron told the UK where anyone who's on benefits or can't get into work or they end up going to jail. Uh, it's not like a normal jail, it's called it's like a workhouse or a working prison. Uh, where um where it's all in, like an industrial prison thing. Uh, where people they 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 use people slaves. So it's actually slavery. Um David Cameron wants to bring out slave prison slavery scheme. And, on, and and it's you knowing you know, having this nightmare or this bad dream um is pretty something. You wake up it's like, Oh thank goodness it's just a dream. But the worst thing is when you watch it um slowly materializing um, into reality to the point that um, you think, oh, that was just a bit of um, you know schizophrenia, but um, you know I've been under a lot of trauma and everything like that, and this is just a dream. And reality isn't like this, but when you see it materializing and becoming reality. Um, that's when um, that's when it gets frightening and because you know the future, you've seen the future, even though it hasn't materialized, you've seen it and and the nightmare that you you did you hope that won't happen happens what it you know the only way what you start thinking the only way to escape all this is to um commit suicide um and the thing is you're also scared of suicide because knowing that once you die that it is not afterlife or anything like that and hoping that you'd wake up um you hope that you wake up on another planet somewhere you know because you had yeah, sort of like the experience of being an avatar um what happens if your consciousness you know um, I don't know whether I'm, I'm a, if I would wake up because it, because I don't know if my consciousness is fully transferred to me but um there's no safe fail safe mechanism and I'm like if, I'm like everyone else here on this planet but when I die it's <coughs> you know that's the end of me and the only part of me that lives on me is my artwork and well that's lost as well the way things are going um, because people destroy my artwork on Facebook um, if you've watched um, the Glamerton cleric uh, where these people this dictatorship which is very close to heading towards that way with David Kemp going around destroying art um, why is it the gram grammar what happened in the grammar to the it happened to the uh, reality. Um, 
So yeah, so I know this video has been a bit too long, but I'm I'm wanting to say whatever everything I need to say. So uh, yes, also um, what to end this video is um, I know it's it's hard to put all these things in. I didn't take notes, but um, I, I'm just I'm just speaking naturally. Um, yeah, um, what I'm also going to say is with the, with the um, YouTube and the money disease, um, I've noticed I've got somebody, some some or a bot or a person, is downloading my videos, which I provide for free, and I do not monetize them. Because the information that I give is free, well, because I'm concerned about the planet and everyone needs to see it. So I give this information free and uh, without charging, this, um, because I want to be as authentic and natural and to the point as possible. I do understand that I can get the facts and things a bit wrong. But most of all, it's extremely accurate and to the point, and I've given a lot of thought. Um, and also, one of the reasons why I do not want to charge it is because of my human error or the or the error. You know, I could, um, but you know, I don't even I don't even know what human is. Um, to be to be human is to be humane, but. Human beings kill other people, create wars, and, uh, and I'm not like that. And if that is human, I'm not human. You know, you're getting where I'm getting saying. So, so um, um, somebody is uploading my videos and monetize their channel. So that they make money out of my videos. That's what I've discovered. Um, so I'm not really. Uh, it's absolutely mad, to be honest. I just think it's complete. I originally thought, you know, they were sharing my work, good thing. Um, but um, when they make money out of my, my stuff, it's like whatever I said. Is ignored. Whatever the positive side of that is, they're distributing my what I have to say. But they're charging, they're making money on what I say, which is, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this planet is completely mad with the money disease. It's, it's, it's made, it's made people into these nightmarish creatures, uh, golems, I feel like golems, you know, in a lot of the rings, the money disease is, I think that, 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 that Lord of the rings kind of describes what money is like, money is like this ring, this precious, and if you cling on to it, might you turn into a golem-like creature, um, um, that's what I think is expressed in all the rings there. But um, what I'm also saying as well is um, um, also another thing is um, you know this girl Suzuki something you know she went uh, to speak up at a um, UN convention or something like that about you know the planet heading towards its destruction, so people need to change, um, get rid of this buy and throw away culture and all that. The money disease in it is. Um, cure humanity from the money disease. Her speech has gone in vain, it's been ignored. And exactly what they've done to me, they've done to her. Where her speech is actually now copyrighted. Can you believe it? 
an important message. Five minutes silence the world, make people think on their action to try and change the path of reality so that there be a future for everyone and your children and your children's children and so forth um, so that there be a future um, is now copyrighted and restricted um, this has been seen on my YouTube um, on my YouTube channel um, you know the DMCA um, so that they are they are actually making money out of her speech the, the record record label corporations I saw that I felt highly disgusted um, and and then knowing that this has happened to me and my channel, that I do not have the have control in the matter. And in order to try and sort this out, you'll have to go uh, lawyers, solicitors, all this bullshit, this bureauc bureaucratic bullshit, just to sort it out. And uh, and I can't be asked for that because it's too primitive. And stupid to even go that far. But I would just, the best thing is just to, you know, face palm and move forward. Um, but I do announce this in my video for people, when people, you know, because I always say, you know, I provide my information free and as authentic as possible mainly based on my experiences, my life, what I know and experienced about extraterrestrials. I have met extraterrestrial people face to face um, and all that and um, I don't want to make money out of that because what for? I don't, get, I don't understand why I would do that and um, this is the thing it's um, it's out of madness and this, this is what's got to stop and got to change and what I was going to say as well is I can't remember exactly um, yeah also lastly I'm actually working on this cute it's an extraterrestrial in space. So um, I'm going to be printing that tomorrow once I've gone back and after I've had my visit to the doctor. Um, yeah, so honestly, what I've shared has just been ignored. Um, I don't have a problem with that. And, uh, at least when the time comes when the end for the for 28 years and everyone's buying radiation poisoning or even sooner if a nuclear war breaks out I when I'm dying I could say well maybe when I'm committing suicide because I can't handle life anymore at least I say, well, when I was alive um, and reasonably healthy, um, I said what I could say, I, could, I did what I could do under the circumstances and under the restrictions and under my capabilities on what I could do. I did what I could shared what I shared and, and I have no regrets of saying you know would things change if I shared and could 
do it or do this or do what it is and even you know would it change even if the even if it hasn't put um out of, out of the reality it's it's not working um at least I don't have regrets I'm not doing anything um, or saying things or sharing things uh, when I die, at least I don't regret that I haven't done anything. Um, I don't know so what I say at the moment. Okay. And also, we have Facebook and all that. Um, what I was going to say is about my friend that um, I found it was very, very stressful that. Um, yeah, because um, she only tried to communicate with me when I got unblocked, and never tried to communicate in, can communicate with me within the time I was blocked, and that I find is very traumatic and depressing. And anxiety generating is like, you know, it's like wants to make me build up into an anxiety attack and scream, you know. Um, and the thing is, now I'm blocked again, so I only I could only reply a sentence, and the last time I was communicating was a sentence three months before. I mean, not three months, and um, three days before. Um, that's what I just said. Oh, to hell with this. I'm shutting down my Facebook. I'm just too upset. I don't want to talk to anybody. Um, I don't even know why. Yeah, actually, sharing this video. And even though I'm upset, too upset to talk to people. I'm sharing this video. That I would say I won't have any regrets um, that I didn't say anything. So I think that's it. I know it's almost an hour long, much lower. That's it. And all this thing that happened to me just made me more close, sticking more to myself. Especially now that England's reaching sort of a police day. Uh, I am extremely scared to even go outside. Um, but it's frightening. Because I know that because of my... Now if I wasn't born a hermaphrodite and I didn't have gender problems, I'll have a bit more self-confidence. Because, you know, the thing is, if I get accused of something and then charged to go to prison, what prison would they put me in? And I will actually kill myself if I did end up in prison because it would be too much. I mean, I'm actually in the process, I, I actually, in processes of contemplating suicide, attempting suicide and all that why I am you know not in prison trying to live my life on a daily basis and going into prison would just be the full stop the, the, I wouldn't cope it would drive me mad and that's why I do things I did um, of taking that risk um, because of my gender issue. And what that is, it's something. Uh, it's, 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 I don't know. Anyway, I'll finish up there. Is that the end? Is that the end?